Hello, this is a review for the Ruger 1022 semi automatic 2 2 rifle. This particular one has a chrome effect, so I can use it really in wet weather if the weather's all damp and I'm crawling through muck. It's not going to rust like ordinary blued or you know, like the blacky coloured guns would. I've married that chrome effect up with a silver silencer. Silencer does a reasonable job. I'll let you listen how quiet or how noisy it is. And bear in mind this is firing almost at the camera. Shot one of my bushes there. Perhaps the best thing about this gun is, well apart from the fact that almost every man and his dog's got one, so the spare parts are readily available, um, is the reliability of it. It's very, very rare you get a misfire. This is the magazine. It's actually a rotary magazine. Holds 10 shots. As you fire one, the next one's pushed up in a rotary fashion as opposed to a, a straight up and down fashion like you would in a you'd have in a normal um, magazine like this one this is a normal magazine this is a crazy one it's like 25 shots I know in America you can get like 75 hundred shot mags but really you'll end up tripping over them you know this one slots in makes it look like a bleeding AK-47 so I tend not to use that one because it, it just gets in the way but I just brought it out to show you there are, op there are options. I tend to use Winchester bullets in this gun. Winchester subsonics. Uh, this spits them out about 1100 feet per second. Reasonably accurate from, from between 40 and 80 yards. After that the bullet tends to drop off a bit and you've got to allow for a little bit of holdover. The scope I use is a Simmons 3.5 to 10 by 50 white tail classic I just bought it off a mate who was particularly hard up at the time it's a nice bright scope I've got fairly low mounts on it so it keeps it very close to the gun that means that it's not sticking way above the gun and it, it's, it's, it just helps with accuracy obviously a gun's only as accurate as the person holding it but it does help to have the scope as close to the barrel as possible. When I first got this gun, it had the most horrendous stock on. I just bought it second hand. So first of all, I smoothed the stock down and stained it and so on and put like a, a little spongy butt plate on and it, it looked quite nice. But then I had the opportunity of buying a thumbhole stock. Twin sided thumb hole stock made of walnut, absolutely lovely stock. It was the last one that a company called South Yorkshire Shooting Supplies had in stock. They actually do a hell of a lot of good accessories for the 1022. If you search for them on the internet, they're called rimfiremagic.co.uk. Very good shop. I think this cost me hmm, roughly about 240 quid or something for the stock. The gun itself was only 150 quid second hand and it's been a very good investment. One thing I would probably alter on this particular gun is the length of the barrel. Whilst it has been shortened a little bit, I would possibly, if I ever get the time or can be bothered, take it down a little bit more. Just allows us to swing it around easier in a car uh, if you're lamping. Uh, it allows you to get it up over walls, over gates and so on. It'll just that little bit easier if it's a bit shorter. Uh, my 1.7 has actually been shortened down to the legal limit and it's, it's, it's a lot more manoeuvrable than this gun. The trigger on this particular 10.22 is a little bit heavy. But then again, I'm only comparing it to my 1.7 which has an excellent two-stage trigger. The 1.7 I have is an Anschutz 15.17. Um, just a, a factory trigger but it's absolutely excellent this is a, a wee bit heavy but once you get used to it it's alright 
I suppose you could adjust it as well, but I, I tend not to fanny on with them. Just kind of take them as they come, you know. I suppose anybody watching a shooting or a gun guide video is most likely gripped by bloodlust fever. So they want to see how quickly it fires. So I'll show you. Reasonably fast. Notice there wasn't any jams. The mag's empty. Spat them out all nice and clean. Hasn't actually been fired for a while either, so... That just proves how good and reliable this gun is. Initially I did fit this particular gun with a bipod which allowed me to lie down and take very still accurate shots but to be honest I tend not to shoot anything over 80, 90 yards with this anyway although it obviously will kill rabbits you know 140, 150 yards away won't necessarily do it accurately unless you're some top notch marksman but um, I prefer not to risk wounding the animal that's why I tend to shoot it at a realistic range and I took the bipod off because most of the shots I take with this are more or less surprise shots. You know, you're walking along the side of a wood, you look over the wall, there's a rabbit 15, 20 yards away, clap down. You just take a quick shot and drop the target. Obviously most people who are watching this video will probably want to know how accurate this particular gun is and as I said before, a gun really is only as deadly as the person who's holding it. Since I generally use the 17, which is a really, really accurate gun, um, I just hope I don't show myself up with the accuracy demonstration because I haven't used this for a while. Here we are at the pond. I'm going to shoot a target just below the skyline there. Basically, I'm just going to pick a rock out on the bank side and have a shot at that. It's roughly 35 yards away or something which is roughly the distance I would tend to shoot most of the rabbits and squirrels and so on at. So I have the sights actually set for, I think about 45, 50 yards, but 30 yards is still accurate, you know. not bad I think I took four or five shots there hit the rock again from I don't know roughly 35 yards away I'm just sitting on a, a rock behind me not resting on anything the, the stone that I had the shot at is approximately that sort of size so really more or less rapid fire that's not too bad certainly if that was a rabbit it would have been 100% success headshots So in summary, would I recommend the Ruger 1022? Yes, absolutely. I actually prefer a semi-auto gun over a bolt action for short range shooting because quite often you shoot one target, you quickly see another target and the noise of racking a bolt back, you know, even if it's well oiled and everything's working as it should, it often gives you that split second delay and also a bit extra noise that can scare your second target away. Whereas with this, you take your shot, whap, you see another target, whap, 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 whap. Especially good for lamping. That's when this gun gets most of its use. I tend to use the 1.7 for daytime shooting, as most of the shots during the day are at a much greater range. But I would wholeheartedly recommend the Ruger 1022. One of America's finest.